Orange is probably the hottest segment right now in the Philippines in the smartphone segment. And Samsung has announced a lot of Galaxy A smartphones recently. And the one that we're gonna do a hands-on right now is the Samsung Galaxy A70. It's the bigger brother of the Galaxy A50. And yes, this smartphone is really good as we got a cool hardware inside and a cool design outside. Hey guys, I'm Jam of JamOnline.ph and today we're gonna do a hands-on of the Samsung Galaxy A70. The Samsung Galaxy A70 got a unique design or unique feature called uh, the Prism Back. We've seen that before in the Galaxy S series and now we have this on the Galaxy A70. It means that the back of the smartphone uh, has colors depending on the light and the reflections on the smartphone. We also got here a glass stick design which is basically basically plastic that feels like glass which means that the Galaxy A70 feels premium compared to other smartphones with plastic build. On the front is where we can find the 6.7 inch display. It's a full HD plus display, super AMOLED panel with an infinity U notch or the U notch at the top. Although it's not perfect but the display of the smartphone is really vivid. It's really colorful. I actually like the colors that I got on the 6.7 inch Infinity U display. There's a display aspect ratio of 20 by 9 and since it's Super AMOLED, you already know that it's vivid, it's colorful, and it's better or probably better at blacks. And also, uh, you could use it at direct sunlight. Since we're getting a large display on the Samsung Galaxy A70, do expect that the smartphone is not so ergonomic. Well, we do have a curved sides at the back, but it doesn't really help because the smartphone is really big, especially if you have a small hands. But for me, I love the 6.7 inch display as we got an immersive display, which is good for gaming, good for watching movies, and a lot more. Though, although there's a little bit notch, but it's not really a big deal breaker for me. I actually didn't notice the notch that much. The smartphone also comes with an on-screen fingerprint scanner. Although it's not an ultrasonic fingerprint scanner, this one is really fast. It's really good. I've tested it and I actually like it. But if you're not, you're not a fan of that, you could actually use the face unlock of the smartphone. But again, the fingerprint scanner of the smartphone, it's fast, it's good, and you wouldn't complain about it. There's the large 4,500 mAh battery inside the Samsung Galaxy A70. And I think that is pretty big for the smartphone. And then there's the 25 watt super fast charging, which is probably the fastest fast charger that are right now on a Samsung smartphone. And I'm really happy that they have these features. I mean, most smartphones today doesn't last up to a day and having a fast charger is really essential, especially if you're always on the go. So if you're just taking a break or taking a bath, you could charge the smartphone 20 minutes or 30 minutes and then the smartphone can last a few hours on your day. And then there's the triple lens camera of the smartphone that sports a 32 megapixel f1.9 camera, 8 megapixel ultra wide camera, and a 5 megapixel depth sensor. And if you love selfies, don't worry because the Samsung Galaxy A70 got a 32 megapixel f2.0 camera. And in our initial test of the smartphone, we find it great at decent lighting conditions as we can shoot brighter and vivid photos. However, at low light, it's a little bit hit and miss, okay? So most of the shots that I took can get bright, but sometimes it gets blown out when there's a lot of bright or multiple sources of light. But still, what I like about it is that the smartphone still retains the colors of the shots. Fortunately, there's no night mode on the Galaxy A70, but again, at decent lighting conditions, the Samsung Galaxy A70 can shoot really good photos. Um, the low light, however, it's a hit and miss as some shots were really bright, which is good. But in some shots, it's, there's a lot of uh, sources of lights or a lot of bulbs that are, you know, uh, the streets. And I've noticed it gets a little bit blown out, but it's still, the, the Galaxy A70 can still get the right colors, which is pretty good. However, I'm not satisfied with the Pro Mode of the Galaxy A70 because the Galaxy A70 is Pro Mode, you can only adjust the ISO, the white balance, and the exposure of the camera. Unfortunately, you cannot adjust the shutter or the aperture of the smartphone, but that's expected since the only smartphone that I know can adjust aperture is the Galaxy S10 and the S9. Inside the smartphone is a 6 gigs 
RAM, 128 gigs internal storage, and then there's the octa-core 2.0 gigahertz plus 1.7 gigahertz processor. And in our test, we don't know the processor of this smartphone. In CPU Z and uh, Antutu, the smartphone, the the applications cannot recognize the chipset of the smartphone. But that's not really bad. I mean, we got a new chipset and it's Qualcomm, and I think this is a Snapdragon 6150 based on my research. Um, in my test, actually, I've tried it with uh, different applications. I've tried it uh, with PUBG Mobile, and my god, I can actually run the game at ultra frame rates with HDR settings, and there's anti aliasing on. Though I'll, I noticed some frame drops at uh, really heavy gunfights or grenades or smokes, but these are not really, uh, you know. Uh, affecting my gameplay because we still got a really good frame rates on the smartphone but we have to test it out at game bench to prove that the smartphone can really run some heavy games so I'm gonna try out Talion soon so be sure to watch out for it in Antutu we also got a high score of 169,813 which is almost comparable to the Snapdragon 710 if you have read my review before this uh, the Oppo R17 Pro we love it at gaming and uh, the Snapdragon 6150 or the processor inside the Galaxy A70, well, it's kind of premium and almost comparable to uh, most higher mid-range smartphones. Overall, the Galaxy A70 is a really nice smartphone. We got a prism effect at the back. We got an on-screen fingerprint scanner. We got a really good display, which is really immersive, although there's a little bit small notch. Um, the camera is kind of great at decent lighting conditions. However, at low light, it's a little bit hit and miss. Uh, the battery of the smartphone is something that I should look some uh, look at because there's a 4,500 mAh of battery. That is really big and I'm really curious about it. So the Galaxy A70 was probably will be priced at more than 17,000 or 18,000 pesos because we have the Galaxy A50 at that price range. As of this recording, we do not know yet the price of the smartphone, but we're hoping that it will be reasonably priced, hopefully at around 20 to 23,000 pesos. So guys, uh, that's it for our hands on of the Galaxy A70. So if you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, well, now's the time to subscribe. So once again, I'm Jump, jumponline.ph. Thanks for watching your hands on and unboxing up. Sorry, no unboxing. The hands on off the Galaxy A70.